right here. Zero to 60. Go. I think I, think I was shifting like before I had my old, before I had the muscle. I need to pay attention and shift a lot later now because my RPMs keep on going. Before I had the sleeper in my RPM, what are you doing? Before I had the sleeper in my RPMs was starting to drop off and now my RPMs are still gaining at 3,500 RPMs. This thing's just not been making steam. Where before the sleeper, the 3,500 RPMs, it was starting to fall off. But anyway, guys, that's not what the video is about. I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Tall and this is YouTube channel Traveling Tall. And I'm so excited to announce that I have a new motorcycle. Yes. A, well, a new to me motorcycle. And I'm excited about it. So, let me show you the motorcycle. And um, insert intro here. Alright guys, so as I said, I got a new bike. Let me show you what I got. It's a good looking motorcycle. My uncle took great care of this bike. That's why when he said he was selling it, I had to jump on it and get this bike from him. It looks good. And you guys remember, he literally had it like two weeks. Well, less than two weeks. We put that Custom Dynamics headlight in while we were up at Custom Dynamics. And then he ends up selling it to me. So I got a new headlight, new turn signals, magic strobe, rear turn signals, rear brake light. But what do you think, guys? Regardless of which direction I go, I'm going to tell you there's certain things on it that I don't want. I don't care what I do. The screaming equal exhaust, they have to go. The windshield has to go. Not worried about the wind. I got a bike if I want to get out there for the long distance. That's why I'm not so, you know, I could do more with this motorcycle. These speakers, they have to go. And I will not be running it again with a tour pack. I have to, absolutely have to have a seat because it has me sitting up too far on the tank. Now he has the 19 inch, well I have now, <laughs> the 19 inch enforcer on it. Um, the frame is completely, everything, every part of the frame is covered in chrome. So there's a whole lot of chrome on this bike. I don't want to get to where I'm taking the chrome off. But I think that's kind of what's making me lean to a cruiser it's going to be, if it's even even if it's a cruiser it's going to have power i can't just deal with the stock 88 it's going to have to get a drop-in cylinder kit to make more power so regardless if it has uh, if it's a big wheel bagger hey let's just give this uh, give this bike numbers okay number one big wheel bagger and when i mean big wheel bagger nothing less than nothing less than a 26 big wheel bagger Number two, Vickla style, 21 spoke in the front, 18 spoke in the rear. The beach spread bars are uh, ape hangers, and just add more chrome to it. Still going to get a little bit of power, but maybe not to the extreme that I was going to do if I decided to make it a performance bagger. Number three, all-out hot rod, biggest twin cam that I could stuff in there. Extend the swing arm, wider tire on the back, of course chain drive, and go to the track and have fun. Now, number three is the most expensive one. <laughs> number two would probably be the easiest for me to do. And guys, it's part of the reason why I got this bike. You can pick up these bikes, 2005 Road Kings, anywhere between, I've seen them as low as $4,500 and around you know as high as eleven thousand dollars depending on you know if somebody done a lot of custom work to it it's not unheard of to find one that's in the uh, five thousand dollar range that's in good shape and they're great bikes 
They're good looking bikes. There's plenty of parts for them. So yeah, we're going to have fun with this on the channel, I can tell you that. My dilemma is, which way should I go? I know, I know, I know I need more power. I know that. But we're going to see what else we can add to this bike. Do we want to make it a performance bagger, which it's kind of screaming performance bagger, but it's also screaming spokes, white walls, just make it a nice road king. Now, big bars and white walls and with the uh, spot lamps and all that stuff. I love that look, but I have to, I can make it sort of like that, but I have to put a little twist on it. I have to put my twist on it. So let me know. Comment. Let me know what you think. What do you? What would you like to see this bike become? You see, uh, <laughs> my knees are almost in front of the gas tank here. So one thing I have to have is a seat. Maybe I don't know what brand of seat I'm going with this time. We'll see. I might even go solo seat this time. Another huge upgrade that I need to do is the suspension. You know. I can tell, I mean the bike rides good, it does, but um, after getting used to the suspension that I have on my bike, I want to upgrade the suspension on this bike. You guys, you guys see how I ride and where I ride, and uh, this is just not going to cut it. And this year in 2005, they had that little bitty back tire, I believe the back tire is a three and a half or a four and a quarter, anyway it's not a five and a half like we have on the newer stuff. So, I've looked into some wide tire kits, not like big 200s or nothing, just some wide tire kits to uh, get that little skinny narrow tire off the back. I want something that's going to be a lot beefier than that, at least the same size that I have on my bike. Now, if I decide to make this an all-out drag bike, then I would have an extended swing arm and a wider tire on the back man I had this motorcycle almost almost a week now and I haven't showed you guys because I had so many things going on it's been 12 days since a video has been put out the biggest thing that ever happened in my YouTube career I've told you that so that's why I had to take a break it, it was YouTube related and you guys are gonna love it when you see it oh so with this bike I've had a chance to look at it I've been looking at it in the garage I've ridden it and it's starting to speak to me and the name the name of this motorcycle. Okay guys, so the name of the motorcycle. Here's the thing, I'm from Tennessee, you know that. The motorcycle is a road king, you know that. The bike is blue, and um, I thought, well, why not just name it Memphis. Memphis is in Tennessee, and it's the home of blues. And um, yeah, <laughs> so that's the name of the new motorcycle, Memphis. Let me know what you want to do to it guys. Should I go number one? Number two or number three? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, like it, please subscribe. Again, those decals, the second round will be going out. I'll be sending them out really soon. So if you ordered one, they'll be coming your way soon. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, also, I want to thank my daughter for this awesome traveling tall t-shirt here. Thank you. And... Again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Keep gliding. Yeah, it's a road king. But still, keep gliding. And as always, have a blessed day. Okay, so we tried this with the other bike. Now let's try it with the twin cam 88. Let's go. No tack to see. Let's just listen. Okay. I don't know what I did there. Yeah, a little bit different than what I was just on earlier in the video. But we're going to work on it. Don't worry about it. We're going to work on it. I love that blue. That thing looks good.